Well, hello, my darlings. Happy Tuesday to one and all. And welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the second part of the Goth household. We are carrying on with what we started yesterday. I am so happy to see so many of you liked the choice of going modern with this house. I'm very, very glad of that because the other house that I did start like, yesterday, it, it it was a lot different and I just didn't like it. And I don't think you guys would have enjoyed it as much. Done a few things off of camera as well and just made it look a little bit better. Put a few of the platforms in. Today we'll carry on with exterior details and doing all of the back garden and whatnot. So, yes. That's a very short intro. I'd like to thank everybody yesterday as well for making me feel so much better. Um, collectively, I think it was known as Blue Monday yesterday. <laughs> I think a lot of us were feeling a little bit blue, myself included. And you guys that came even to the stream as well and made me feel so much better. I appreciate you so much. I really, really do. I feel very lucky to have you all, all in the community. I do. Anyway, let's stop waffling on. It's not an acceptance speech or anything. And we'll get into game. Okay, back at the goth residence. So, I made changes from last time and I prefer it now, what I've done to it today. Not too much, but I've perfected the back, what the back's going to look like. I still want to do something with these windows, maybe around the windows or something. I don't know what yet, but I'm just going to leave it like that for the minute. Um, It kind of arises of three platforms, so it kind of goes up to this one here. Then this middle section here where I've put a tree and planted the tree down into the ground. Then it goes down on this way and then there's a pool off to this side as well with a pathway that kind of connects in with the office and stuff over this side and it's got a big loop around the build so you can walk not all the way around it but at least off to one side which i'm here for i really am and then with the interior what i've done is done the floor plan so we're gonna go for this look with this gray lovely wood which is from eco lifestyle i've also used this which from eco lifestyle as well um i just love the texture on that i didn't want it to be too flat in here ignore the ceiling um <laughs> i say that all the time but what i wanted was just a nice bit of texture on the walls and as i said we're doing blacks and grays in this build only i only want that to come through in this build this is obviously going to be the dining room i don't know if i'm using this dining table yet i was just making sure that they'd have enough room and stuff and this is going to be the kitchen level up here. I'm going to do the kitchen up on this level. And maybe with like a little seating area over here somehow. I will be putting a fence on this. Maybe the glass fence. I think I'm going to use the same glass fence on the banister here. Haven't chosen the doors or archways or anything yet. I'd probably do that when we get to the interiors. Or at least for when we do go into the interiors. <sighs> so today what we're going to do is crack on with more of the exterior work through the back lots more greenery i want to do a lot more hedges and stuff around the actual build itself i may actually even swamp them in um and i'm definitely thinking of putting a car here i'm just going to put a car on top of this grass <laughs> and move it across with the tall mod um and then i might put like a little entrance off or entrance into the actual build here just so it looks like you can kind of park your car there and walk across yes i'm feeling it i am so Yes, and also I have a delivery and it's due like anytime soon. So if you hear blue go like wild, what was that noise? <laughs> if you hear blue go wild, it's because I've got a delivery. Um, and I, it might startle us. So be aware you're going to be on edge now throughout this to hear blue bark. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I can't help it. Couldn't help the delivery time today, right in the midst of my recording time, and I cannot change my recording time because i'm a virgo and i like things to run on time you know you know do i want to head all the way around i kind of do i kind of do but i don't want it to look just too swamped in not really and i don't want to put like a window or anything in this because this is really good privacy wall i happen to love that privacy wall yes okay so yeah maybe all the way around then uh, Apart from here, I'll do another like one here. I'm going to change the mailbox in a minute as well. I'll do another one here. Let's just make sure nothing's creeping through. It's not. And let's, um, excuse you. I wanted the mailbox. Thank you. I'm thinking about using the modern one that we've got. Like this one here. 
I think it does. Does it come in an all black? Well, it comes in a gray and black. That will, that will suffice. I'll pop you just there. Just there, darling. That IV is creeping in there, which is very annoying. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to move you slightly more, actually. Just so you can hit the edge there. Oh, gorgeous. Yes, I'm enjoying that. And I think I'm going to put a light out here as well, actually. Lighting. And then I'm going to do one of... Mm, maybe just like one like this. But this one comes in a black as well. I'm sure of it. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. In fact, I'll do one either side. Just so we get a bit of light out here. Yes, I'm for that. Okay. Okay, now what I was thinking here... Have I got... Oh, I thought I didn't have my bloody mod on then but i do it's right here so what i want to do is put a little border moment around this it's quite near the bottom this one you can probably hear blue sniffing down there he's very he looks very comfy why do dogs always look the most comfiest things on the planet and cats cats as well not just not not excluding the the cats <laughs> they do they look like they're having the most comfy time um, oh, well, maybe I really wanted to use the bigger one just because it's easier to place. And then if I do that to there, then you, oh, do I have to put you manually? Oh, I hate you. I hate you of a passion. I do. Um, but yeah, I am really looking forward to playing around with this house and getting some, I'm not going to go for like, I'm going to definitely still have nods to the goth family that are kind of original if you know what i mean i definitely want to get a piano in the house somewhere um maybe a few like older looking portraits as well to clash against the contemporary that i'm going to do in there but um but not much my loves not much at all let me see that yeah that's perfect this one all the way around um this fence by the way is from jungle adventure i think uh and it's in debug or live edit and I get it easily by using the better build and buy mod from Twisted Nixie. Oh god, it's not going to fit there. So what I might have to do with this is put it through the wall. Which is not bad because it's got a hedge on the other side anyway. So I can hide it. You see, you're never going to really see that. Oh, you might. but <laughs> You might. <laughs> we'll sort that out, don't you worry. And then what I wanted was that ivy again. This ivy in the red. Oh, it's just giving me all the vibes this is. Giving me all the vibes. A few of you said this is reminding you of a Cullen house as well, which I'm I'm all here for. I really am. I did go and build the Cullen house years ago. Um, it was on my YouTube channel, but I've actually privated quite a few of my older videos now. Um, just because it just doesn't fit in with my content anymore. It's not me really in those videos either. Like I'm being very PG and very like a bit shy of talking into the camera and whatnot. Um, so I have privated quite a few of them. Uh, so if, if you're going out there looking for them, I do apologize. But they're no longer with us. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about it. Really am. Anyway, let's few, use a few more of these, I think. They do come in a three. Can I twist you around the trees without you looking weird? Oh, I think I might be able to. I might have to move the tree slightly, though, because that leaf is weirdly poking in. If I can just move the tree, just... Like around about there. Not going to hit anything. No, it's fine. Yes. Yes, that's giving me vibes. Oh, I like that. I do. I do. I'm in, I'm for it. I really am. So, um, this hedge here is poking through quite a bit, isn't it? Can I, like, turn you the other way? Oh, you can. Just one cheeky leaf comes through there. I'll sell that. And I think what I'm going to do is actually use these. Let's get down to the level we are working on. Actually, not you, darling. The small one. I'm going to use these. And try and plonk these around as well. Plonk. I haven't said that in a hot titty minute. It's such a British word, isn't it? You plonker. <laughs> no idea what it means. <laughs> no idea what it means. <laughs> and I've probably said that, like, throughout my life. Oh, you're such a plonker. Okay, I think we need to go through there as well. Let me get this into a good spot. There we go. But that doesn't matter because maybe from the other side now, I can do a little fence moment through the front as well, which could look nice. 
to be honest. Like to there. Can't do it on that side because of that. Can I like put these like in front of these hedges? No, because the leaves are all going to poke through them and stuff. Well, shit. I can do one there though. Just so it frames in that side nicely. Or better at least. Yeah, that's fine. Um, And then I'll carry on doing it here too. I'll come back when it's done because this must be very dull. There we go. All framed in and lovely. And result as well. My delivery just came as I was placing them down. <laughs> you didn't hear blue i'm sorry you didn't hear blue to his bork it's very protective security card dog is blue very much is yes <laughs> he likes to make his presence known when there's someone at the door and whatnot but it's so cute because he'll run to the door and then he does this like moonwalk backwards because he knows i've kind of trained him that i've got to go to the door first before he's even allowed anywhere near it um he's so cute so so cute i'm for it. I'm going to put a tree right there. Right there. A little bit of titty, 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 titty bang bang for you there. Um, If you're unsure what that means, it's a sitcom in the UK. Well, it was a sitcom in the UK and it was iconic. I've mentioned it before, but right there. <laughs> and I'm just a weirdo, to be honest. So there we go. The end. What a lovely story that was, Aiden. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, darling. Thank you, sweetie. I'm very excited today. I'm in such a better mood today. <gasps> and the main reason I'm massively excited today is because I'm Zoom calling with my best friends this evening. And we haven't done it in such a long time because we're all so busy. But because of the lockdown at the minute, um, I'm so excited to see them. I'm so excited to see them and speak to them and just talk shit for hours. Oh, I can't wait. We all live in different areas of the world. Um, oh, well, a lot of them, three of us live in different areas in the UK. And then one of us lives in um, Holland. Well, in it, the Netherlands. And it's just nice that we can all get together and have a have a catch up. I'm so looking forward to it. It's much needed. Very, 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 very needed. I will say that. I will. I will say that. Okay, we've got you going on there. I need some kind. I don't want to go any flowers or anything oh you will look great in here why did i not use you it's that darker green vibe again so let's use a few of these as well like one like there oh stunning one on that side as well Flip. i hate the pivot points on these though awful pivot points pivot no not you you've got flowers on you we're not we're not about the flowers here not at all we're all about the greeny vibe the greeny leafy vibe um, unsure if I'm going to do like a garden per se here with like stuff to grow things. I don't think I'm going to do. I might do some a couple of vertical planters somewhere, but not really a massive garden. I would imagine the Goths are quite a private family. They don't really mix much with the community, I'm going to say. Apart from Bella, who's friends with all of the girls. Like they all went to college and everything together. And I would say Bella mixes well, but I would say predominantly the goths kind of keep to themselves a little bit i really i really do really really do i had a few of you say oh is um cassandra gonna be like friends with odin over there and i wouldn't imagine they would mix in the same crowd together um i would imagine odin's a bit of a bully actually um not well yeah a bully full stop so i reckon maybe cassandra could be a target of that sometimes um because she's a bit different she's a bit uh yeah, she's just different to him. A lot different to him. And differences scare people sometimes. I know this from experience, loves. And I think oh, a lot of you do out there. So if you are different, celebrate that. Because then you're not like the other wankers, shall we say. It's, it's a good thing. It's a good trait to have. We are not sheep, my loves. We are not. Especially... You guys in the LGBTQIA community. Um, you guys are astounding. And you make me proud. <laughs> you honestly do. <laughs> All jokes thrown aside, you honestly do. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, I love getting deep. Oh, God. Filth! Every time there's a bit of filth, I'm going to have to do that every time. It's just got to be done. Anyway, what I want to do... 
Mm, I'm going to do that off of camera as you get the car out here. So we'll forget that. But I will, however, put... Do I want to maybe just do... like a, Would a door fit here? Like a double shorter height door. Plain door. I don't think... Do you come in an all black? Oh, you do. Oh, it does. Oh, that kind of looks more exterior. I mean, interior though. I don't like that that looks very interior. So let me try and find a good door for here. I think we'll just go for a single one. We'll go for the single one. I'm going to use these on the interior as well, I think. So let's do that. Why we've got it out, we may as well. We're here. Why not? You know, you know, you know. So I've raised the platform of the bedrooms up one as well, just for a little bit of architectural detail. I'm not going to put a door around there because I want to do something with that space. So I'm going to keep that free for the minute. We'll put a door there, a door there, a door. Is that in the middle? That's not in the middle. There we go. That's not in the middle either, Aiden. For goodness sake. Where is your Virgo intuition? Oh. <laughs> and a door there. A door. Oh, do I want to put a door there? Because that's going to be the ensuite. So no, I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to have this. Like, this is the dressing room into the bathroom here. And this is going to be. I wanted to do like a Jack and Jill moment here. But I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. Uh, I don't think we will. I mean, I could if I like put the doors here. And just use this as like a predominantly a shower room for Cassandra and Alexander. They've got their own like little like ensuite moment there. We have got a guest bathroom downstairs. So we don't necessarily have to have to have this entrance here, which would again free up a little bit more space. So I think I'll do that. Oh, I think I will. Oh, I'll tell you that much. <sighs> anyway, I don't know if I want to put a door there. I may want the dressing room actually open. We haven't got any square apart from this one. And that's a little bit too. I like it on the exteriors, but on interiors, I think it's just a bit too much. I think it sticks out a bit too far. Uh, no, I don't want to put that there. I don't. I don't. Oh, I've got itchy side. What does that mean? <laughs> Whenever I've got itch, I'm always like, what does that mean? Does that mean money is coming my way? Because I would like some. <laughs> I really would. I won't lie to you. I won't lie. Should we go grey with the archway? Yeah, I think I will. And then I'll put one of these doors on the inside here. Round about there. Face it that way. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, I'm for that. And then down here, I do want an archway into the living area. Wondering if I could put two here. Just so it like opens that. Oh God, I don't like the different direction wood though. So I'm going to face this wood the other way. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Why didn't I do that anyway? And I'm unsure if I want to put one here just yet. I kind of do. I'm going to stick one there for the minute. Um, I'll put you in the middle like around there. I know it's very dark in here at the minute. I've got no lighting and it's all black and grey. Yeah, I kind of do. I was thinking half wall here to open the living room out into there. Let's, let me trial it. I'm going to trial it first. Unsure if we're going to go for it, but I'm going to trial. Um, Let me see that height. Oh, I don't mind it. It kind of opens the living room. Oh, I kind of like it. I do. We've got to remember we're putting counters there. So I need to like have that at counter height. Maybe I could go down. I oh, know that is the height. Well, we'll leave that for the minute. <clears throat> we'll get to the interiors tomorrow anyway. And I'm going to be doing a bit off of camera this evening. So yeah. Anyway. Okay. Right out into the gardens now. So I, as I said, I don't want like gardening areas or anything. I don't think that's the vibe here. I would say I'm going to do a nice relaxing spot like here with some sun lounges. Maybe just some nice benches around this tree. Or even like one big bench here. Or a sofa. Um, We've got no kids or anything either. So maybe we could just have this as like the chill out spot. Maybe a fire pit out here. I would imagine that would be quite cute. Yeah, I'm for that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, right. So what I want is I want a dark bit of outside furniture. And I don't think we've got any. <laughs> which is a good start. It's a good start. So let me go and find something. 
Okay, for the sitting furniture, I think this would be really nice. But as I was doing it, I got inspired. So what I did was took a I took away this wall because you can't put pools or anything on foundation um, on platforms. Got rid of this platform. I've put like a little pool area down here, not to swim in. I'm going to make this a bit of a water feature, I think. But I think this seat set, which is from Island Living, I think. Yeah, I think this would work really well here. I'm wondering if these go. I don't think they do. I'm wondering if they go around a fire pit. If they don't, I'm going to put a fire pit in the middle. Um, and I'm going to use this modern variety of fire pit. Do you go? Oh, you do. Oh, how stunning. Oh, I'm for it. I'll tell you that much. Yes. Okay. Come through. I'm kind of preferring that orientation. But what I'm thinking is actually getting a little bit of a dining space here. I mean, the kitchen's all the way over here. It'd be a bit of a pain in the ass to come out here to eat, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm thinking about actually using a pagola. A pagola. Um, I'm wondering if I can use that though. I know we've got one in Island Living, so let me grab it. Oh, we do. We do have this one here. It's very chunky though. I always find this a bit of a weird size. But I think I'm going to use it here just above the seating area. I think that would be a good spot for it there. I hope in these sofas don't catch on fire with this fire pit because that usually happens in my game. And I was thinking for the dining area, using a like a bar stool moment and then pushing it against the wall rather than having this kind of separate table, if you know what I mean. Um, and then having the barbecue area off of it. So I may change the orientation of where the stairs go and put the stairs across this way. They do cut into the window slightly there, but I don't care. Um, yeah, I think there. And then use it. Can I? Am I down on the right level here? I am. Oh, for a start, I need to put soil around there, darling. Can't be having that. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Virgo. What can I say, you know? I just like things the way that I like things. There's nothing more to it. Should we use the matching? Yeah, they kind of look nice here. Um, But I am going to do like a moment there, a moment there, a moment there, and a moment there. And then I'm going to do like the barbecue area. Yeah. Can I move this along slightly? I might be able to actually, just to get a bit more space in there. Let me see the grid placement. Yeah, so I've got three there. Um, I did want a sink out here as well, really, but I don't think I'm going to be able to put it in. I don't want three chairs because it doesn't make sense. There's four of them in the family. Well, there was. <laughs> Maybe I could get rid of a chair. That was an omen. That was an omen about Bella disappearing. Very, very, very... Serious. <laughs> oh god what am i like yeah i think so yeah i think that barbecue there and then i'm gonna do just a little countertop off to this side and maybe use i think i'm gonna use the island living counters on the interior so i might do it on the exterior as well and i think it would go quite nicely here with the uh, barbecue itself Oh, I do want to push you into the wall. I never pushed this into the wall. It still works when you push it into the wall, but it looks weird in game because this kind of goes up into the wall. I always make sure you leave a little bit of a gap. That might still cut in slightly, but it makes me happy. I'm leaving it like that. Yeah, I think so. Shall I put a sink on there? I mean, they've got enough space to put food and stuff down there. We're going to do, we're going to do an outside sink. It's only right, you know, and we'll use this industrial looking one. I think that would be so Stunning. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm feeling that vibe. Feeling that. There is a bit of white on these sofas, I know. But, you know, you've just got to go with it sometimes. Anyway, we need some greenery up here. Now, I'm thinking about bringing the greenery in with um that, like, big corner plant. This one here. Do we have, like, a plain? Oh, we do. Like, into that corner there. Or maybe you need to be in a different orientation. Nope, I've preferred you in that one. Right, I'm going to whiffle this a little bit in like that. <coughs> Cough there, sorry. Um, Yeah, like that, I think. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, that's bringing a little pop of green there, which is what I wanted. Yeah, like that. Okay, great. Oh, God, look at that. You were not invited. How very dare you. Still unsure what I'm gonna if I'm gonna do uh hedges all the way around. I don't really want to. I don't really want to do hedges all the way around. So I might just 
detail it with some terrain paint and whatnot you know and then here i want that other big group of plants this one um and that one's got a darker aesthetic as well there we go stunning now this is a bathroom so i'm thinking let's get some privacy panels on it and i'm going to use the ones from snowy escape i think just in a plain black on the windows stunning stunning let's go up see where it goes there I could probably just follow that all the way up there, actually. Um, because I've got a window. Oh, no, I put a skylight in. I put a skylight in up here. So it's still going to get lots of light. And these just act as a nice kind of privacy panel then. And a little bit of architectural detail, you know? I'm all for a bit of architectural detail. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. It's making me question whether I should do it on these, on the actual windows. I just don't want it to look too jail cell Nah, I'm going to leave those three. I'm going to leave those three. But I think I might... What I may do is change the... No, I'm not going to do that either. <laughs> I'm like, what I might do... No, that's disgusting. What I might do... No, that's absolutely hideous. <laughs> I was hoping we had a bit more of a smoky grey. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Um. One sec. No, I just trialed something. I trialed to see if the windows um, would look better in grey. And they don't. So I'm going to leave that. I'm absolutely going to leave it. Okay, I like how this area is. I'm going to go minimalist with this house as well. I definitely prefer minimalism in modern architecture. I'm definitely going to keep it minimal. Oh, 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 you missed that. Oh, Blue had a little stretch. But he did the... He like stretches his head up and his ears go really, really high. And then he looks at me from backwards. So he's upside down <laughs> looking at me. Oh, stop being so fucking adorable, Blue. I can't take it. I really can't. I really, really can't. Um, You're not going to fit down there. I do want to get something in there. Will you go in there? No, you won't go down there either. Well, slap me on the tits and call me Sheila. That's all I can say to that. I do want something in there, though. Let me see if I can pull... Maybe I could put a few of these in there, actually. Oh, the pivot points, though, are going to be annoying as fuck. No, I don't like them in there. I'd, well, I don't mind one. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on, work with me. Go on, down you go. I mean, I could move it in the tool mod, but I can't be asked. <laughs> that is basically me using the tool mod. Can't be asked. It's too much work. Can I be bothered? <laughs> but I think I do want to actually put this. Can I get rid of this tree? There we go. I think I'm going to move that down with the tool mod. So ignore that for the sec. That's going to go down. Yeah. Yeah, that will be that will be cool. That will be cool there. I enjoy it. I'm going to put like a little bench and stuff up here. I think nothing too much. I want that area to be kind of free. But then I want this as like a chilling space where they're all going to be sunbathing and whatnot. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. You watch. Um, oh, I just want some light. Oh, you're all you. Oh, you're white. I mean, they're grey. Oh, they're quite nice, actually. Why couldn't we have had like an all black version of this? Mm, answer me that. They're quite nice as well, actually. What ones do I prefer? I might use them just because I've used a little pop of white here. This will help drag that over, over into this area. So yes, that is happening. So I want a parasol. I'm going to find a parasol. I'm just going to tech search for par Oh, I don't want the boob one. There she be. This is the one I want. This one's from Seasons as well, if anyone's wondering. But I'm sure the majority of us have got Seasons out there. Is there anybody out there who hasn't got Seasons yet? Um, best expansion in my eyes. My favourite expansion. Without a doubt, I just love having seasons in the game. It was my favourite expansion with The Sims 3. It really, really was. I loved it. Now, I think I want to orientate these around in this kind of fashion. Like so. Hopefully they should be able to get in and use them. They should be able to. If not, they're fussy bastards. Yeah, I'm sure there's a big enough gap there. Can I bring that back any further? Not really. Slightly I can. 
Yeah, and that kind of vibe going there. Let me see that. Yes. I mean, it's only going to give that umbrella is only really good enough for one of them. Is that like cutting in? Oh, it isn't. It's fitting on there perfectly. Well, I'm going to leave it. And I think what I want to do is put some greenery around this area as well. Let's get rid of seasons. And I think I want to just bring a bit more of a bush out to the back here. Maybe using um, Ye old Faithful. Oh, no, because the... Uh, maybe not you. The Ye old Faithful was this one. But again, it's trying to get a decent pot on the bottom of this. I wish this just came in all neutral swatches. I don't want to use white. I'm going to use that one. It's got a bit of a pattern on it, but we're going to we're going to let it go. We're going to let it go. Okay. Yes, a little bit of greenery back there. I want more green. I want more green. Um you don't match the vibe there, but you will match the vibe somewhere else. Oh, do excuse. Do excuse one. Yeah, I mean, you look quite nice there, actually. I'm going to put you there. Don't go up on the platform. Lovely. Just a lot more greenery behind it. Let me just grab out some plants. There we go. Just a nice little pop of green everywhere. I like how that area looks now. It needs some lighting and stuff down here. I will say that much. I've also used these dividers here just to separate the pool area. Um, these dividers are from Dine Out. Um, and I just think they look really nice of it. Just think they look very nice of it with a little circle moment. Oh, love a bit of architectural detail, I do. Anyway, what I need now is we did want some of those vertical planters. Are they called vertical planters? Vertical planter? Vertical plants? No. There they are. <laughs> and I'm thinking about just mixing them up here a little bit. So they can grow some stuff if they wish. And then I'll put another one of these just on the edge of it here. Oh, stunning. Yeah, so they have got that little moment going on there. I like that. Again, I'm keeping it very minimal. I really, really am. And I prefer it that way. So, um, here, I do want a bench of some sort. But maybe I could just use something along the lines of this. Do you come in any better tones? I mean, you do come in a black. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll just do two of these here. One there. And then one on that side as well. Gorgeous. And I think I'll plop a few of these or two of these next to it, but I'll just size it down slightly. Put one on this side like this. And then one on the other side as well. Like so. Let me just see that walkthrough moment there. They should be able to go up there, no problem. No problem. Do I want to put that in just one? I think I do, but maybe not that close. Maybe about there. Same with you as well, my love. Oh, Stella. I'm for it. Absolutely for it. Yes, it's coming together nicely now. As I did say, I do want some greenery. So that's what I'm going to detail a lot of this place up with. I think at the back um, is to do some more, is to do a lot more green. Um, and out here as well, I think I'm going to climb some green up around this way. Don't know what I'm going to use yet. I think I'm going to go into debug and find some really nice ivy and see what we can make of it. So give me just two seconds. Let me go and grab it. Okay, that's done what I wanted it to. That is give just a pop of green and a bit more life to otherwise the black box, which I'm, I love, don't get me wrong. Um, I think to finish up today, what I'm going to do is just go around and quickly just terrain paint this area in. I'm going to do a darker stone underneath of here because it's only right. It's the goth household. Let's get that softness down a bit. Uh, and then I'll go around and do the lighting on the outside as well. Uh, just, I want some nice moody lighting for the garden. The same with the house as well. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do many overhead lights for this house. I'm going to concentrate on really getting the lighting nice. And um, what I'll do with that is I'll do that off of camera and I'll show you guys tomorrow. Uh, the lighting. I think, I think that would be the best way to go. I'm going to do it. I really am. And what I want, and before I go, I keep, why do I keep doing that noise? Stop it. Very annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. I'm going to... I just did it again. What is that? Why do I keep doing that? Right, I'm going to do a little water, mo water feature moment back here. <laughs> I'm just doing it out of jest now. Let's have a look. I just did it a little bit. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shut up now. It's 
Is that something that I do? <laughs> oh, Christ. Christ almighty God. Anyway, moving on. Onto the pergola. Oh, I do want to put something here, actually. I did say we were just going to do lighting, but I keep seeing things that I want to do. So I'm going to raise this one up. Like so. Oh, yes. And then we'll do another one on the other side as well. So let's get you up as well, darling. Up you come, sweetie. Stop making an embarrassment of yourself. For goodness sake. And then I'll do one in that orientation. What? Where? 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 Where, where, where are you going? There you go. Don't you dare move. Don't you dare move. Whatever you do, don't move. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, lighting. Anyway, so we're here. So, moody backyard lighting. I don't know why my camera decides to do that. But I've, I've fought it long enough. I'm not giving in. I'm not giving in, but I fought the Sims 4 camera long enough. I really have. Anyway, back garden lighting. Let's get rid of all the live edit and the debug as well. Uh, what do you, what kind, oh no. Oh, you do give off a good light though. Do you, oh, you come in a black as well. I wonder if I could do some smaller ones like this. Like, let me just see what that light's throwing off. Oh, I'm kind of here for that. Oh, I kind of am. So maybe I'll do another one of these on the other side. Is that the right? Nope, it's even sized down smaller than that, darling. One there. And then maybe I could put one. No, I'm going to put some pool lights in there. Let me see that. Um, let me just... No. Eh. <laughs> I'm unsure. I'm unsure. I do want to light up this tree, though. So maybe I'll... I don't like them over there. I think we'll use these to light up the tree. Like, if I can, like, face it into each corner, like this. If I put you right into the corner, what will you do? Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll carry on doing that. Let me place these all around here. Yes, I like that. That's lit up that tree nicely. Oh, I'm full that, I tell you. So I think here, I just made that noise again. I think here, what I'm going to do... <laughs> is um putting these ones these are an old favorite of mine but they just work yeah i prefer that light here i am gonna size them down though i'll do one underneath of here and then maybe another one like on the edge here like so and then the same down here oh i do want them at oh they're gonna look weird at different heights so i'm gonna pull that down to there Another one. Let me just get you right on the edges first and then I can work out the middle myself. Hopefully. Maybe. Is that balanced? Is that, is that, are you balanced? I don't think you are. I'm going to pop you there, darling. That looks about right to me. Stunning. This is all going to be lit up so the light will flood out from there. So that doesn't matter too much. But I'm thinking maybe just behind. Oh, you can't really see it because it goes into the window frame. I did want them kind of behind there, to be honest. But we're not going to be able to replicate that. I could do them on the sides. Oh, no, it's because I'm sizing them down. So maybe they need to be bigger here. Just, excuse you, you were working just a minute ago. There you go, one there. Oh, you piece of shit. Well, not there then. Not having it. I'm going to put one here. And one there instead. Lovely. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then the same here as well. I'm just going to put a few lights just in the background. One more there. And another one there, I think. See that? Oh, yes, I'm full that. Yes, indeed. Same going down here as well. I may just put these all the way, like, along the perimeter wall. Because it will, I don't know, it would look really, really cool. Um, oh, I'm going to do that same thing that we did here with this tree. I'm going to bring these lights. Face them in this way as well. Sizing them down, of course. One there. Lovely. Let's face you to that way and size you down. Oh, Christ. Size you down to there. Lovely. Oh, I'm full that. I really am. Um, is that the right way? No, that's not. There we go. 
And to there as well. Oh, one more. Stunning. Oh, I'm absolutely full of that. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that much, sweeties. And I think here I'm going to do them. There. Oh, excuse you. Thank you very much. And then one in the middle there. Balanced. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> don't care. It's fine. It's balanced enough. And I don't think we're all balanced in this community. And I'm very much for it. Who wants to be a balanced person? <laughs> Not me. Because it would be dull. Right, there we go. And you along there as well. Oh, yeah, I'm for that. Very, very much for it. Do want to do some lighting here, though? But I'm a bit... I changed the door as well. I don't know if you... I did that off camera. I just thought that looked nice, that door. It's usually a bit too over the top for me, but I think it matches in well with this house. I'm going to do a few of these ground spotlights just near the door edge. Oh, for it. Booty lighting. Yes, that's how I want the garden lit. Apart from the pool, I do want some more lighting in the pool as well. So I might even use the long ones in this. But I will probably size them down. Where are you? There they are. They just always look a little bit chunky under the water, I think. So if I can do one there, one there, one there. Is that right? Yes. And then let's get that grid on. Down to the pool. And then it's on that one there. And about there. Is that right? Or oh, is that a bit high? That's high. Hey! That one's a bit high. Yeah. Is that the right height, that one over there? Yeah, no, it is. I'm just being fussy now, aren't I? Very much am. Yeah, that just gives a glow. And obviously when there's lighting on the inside, that will pop out a bit more as well and flood the garden with a little bit more light. But I do want a moody bit of lighting for this house. I very much do. Yes, cool. Okay, so we're done for today, my loves, I think. I think we've made a nice start on the... Well, the exterior's done. As far as I'm concerned, I like how it looks. I think this is going to marry in well. Tomorrow we'll come in and we'll do the interior. I'm going to do the living room and the kitchen and the dining area with you guys. I may make a start on some of the bedrooms. Um, like the master suite. And, or maybe I'll just do the... Uh, I'll do Cassandra's and Alexander's bedroom. And we'll do the main master suite together. Just so I've got, so I've got enough time to get it all into one tomorrow. Um, and then we'll go over some more dramas as well. I'm going to, I've got lots of things written down for the goths, but I was going to save it for the last episode. Um, just so you can kind of get a bearing of their relationships with each other and stuff in my storyline. But yes, we're done. Well, goodbye, my friends. Oh, is that a yawn? <laughs> I need to take this beautiful one out for a walkie. Do you want to go for a walkie? <laughs> he's ready he's ready to shoot <laughs> i will be back tomorrow with another part of this the final part of the goth residence we'll get into the interiors and get all the interiors and everything done i think that'd be very exciting thank you so much for all of your lovely feedback and your comments they're a joy to read they really are but for now i will say goodbye and i'll see you tomorrow goodbye